ミスを引きずるよりも今後の対策に思考を費やす方が建設的だからなそれに万が一にも学校が嫌になって行きたくないと言い出されたら困る任務のためには何としても順風満帆な学園生活を送ってもらわねば In this part, they use a Japanese expression and they translated the meaning pretty accurately. But if you are interested in the actual expression, it's Junpu Manpan and it's docile wind full sail. So if you have a docile wind and full sail, you're gonna have a smooth sailing. And it's used to mean as smoothly as possible. 人間って浅はかよね表面的な情報でしかものを見れないっていうかお,お前頭いい人<笑>そんなことないけど<笑>っていうかお前じゃなくてベッキーって呼んでよおい席つけ私たちもっと仲良くなりたいな私だけはアーニャちゃんのいいとこちゃんとしてるもんね Here when Becky is asking Anya to not call her rich girl anymore She wasn't actually using that term in that scene. She was instead using the term omai when addressing her. And it's something that is particular in Japanese when talking to someone else. In English, you can use the term you to address someone in any situation without being rude. But in Japanese, it's a little bit different because their polite system is really complex and you usually address them by their name. So, when you talk to someone using Omai, it sounds really distant, and most of the time it can be considered to be rude. So, in this scene, Becky is telling Anya that the way she speaks to her m a k e it seem that they are more distant than what she wants it to be, and to be called by her name as a proof of their friendship. そしてジョンは決意したのですたとえ仲間外れにされようとも自らの信念を貫き通すのだとジョンはそれからというもの。This has nothing to do directly with the Japanese dub, but in a couple of scenes in this episode, you can see the word Yoiko, written in a couple of plays, and it is actually a Japanese word that means a good girl or a good boy. And they do this a couple of times in the series to write a Japanese word in Roman letters. In one of the previous episodes, it was on the bag of peanuts where it was written super oishi, and they do it a couple of times in the series also.